Great. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. Appreciate it. I Thank appreciate you. your background. I'm just going to keep talking about people's backgrounds. I know. Uh, I know. Isn't it? It's like my favorite room and it's not mine. So. Oh, okay. Oh. So there's that. <laughs> I wish it was mine. So starting with you, Karen, will each of you tell me just a little bit about your character from your perspective? Um, Captain Kathleen Davies has risen through the ranks of the 77th, well, to the 77th precinct. Um, and she's done it with cunning and a lot of hard work and a very deep knowledge of people and, um, and personalities. And she brings all of that to bear with this squad, which is like her second family. These, uh, disparate, uh, characters that she now it's sometimes it's like herding cats with these people but um she loves them she's dedicated to them she's loyal to them and um yeah and they help her get the job done wonderful how about you michael uh well earl uh is kind of a uh he's i uh I, when i was reading with barry i just i just said well i'm just wanting earl to be whatever avi isn't and so that's kind of was my thing i was just like because bobby's like he's like slick and smooth and like kind of a sniper and earl's just a little more blue collar maybe a little more clumsy he still has a really great heart and he's still like you know he's still his his heart is in the right place but he's just a little more wobbly i think compared to compared to um jeff's obby and karen i feel like i've been seeing you in a lot of law enforcement roles particularly in leadership positions how does that come about, and why do you think that you are that person at this time? I don't know to tell you the truth, Carissa. I think I have the space, and people think I know stuff. And hey, you know, if, if if it's working for me, I'm just I'm just gonna let it. Um, I I think I I don't know. I I I don't know. I'm stuttering because I don't know. I've always sort of had the demeanor of being a, a leader. Um, and, uh, and so that's, that's found its way into my work and my art. And, um, and what I think is, what I think helps me with it is that I know that Karen Robinson doesn't know everything. And so it gives me a sort of curiosity that I think also lends itself to my characters that fill them out in a really nice way. So yeah, I can peer into people's souls, but I still have to do the work to excavate what's there. That's that's a perfect answer. Thank you. <laughs> and Michael, it seems like Earl respects Avi's work and kind of gets a kick out of how he goes about it. Yeah. How do you think he views working with Avi in relation to his own career as a fellow detective? Uh, well, I think uh, the the writers kind of the the idea is that Avi and Earl kind of came up together, and so um, Avi's kind of <clears throat> excuse me unique. Um, uh, uh, methods of how he extracts the truth from people uh, i think earl is just fascinated by it it's like a, a pitcher throwing a no hitter he just doesn't want to touch him he just wants to study him and watch him you know and i think that when Jeannie terica comes in she's a little mistrustful of of his uh of his uh of avi's ways and uh earl's able to just calm her down and tell her like listen same with the uh davies is like able to just say just watch this guy he's you no know, he knows what he's doing just like you know let him go mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How would you describe how um, how Avi is as a character and as a detective? Each of you, I'd like each of you to take a turn at that. Uh, Avi, I think uh, his his this this spirituality that he has uh, it gives him this uh, this incredible, profound um, respect for the human condition. And so, even in people that a lot of society would have necessarily may have may have thrown away, Avi finds something there to kind of call and pull out, and it it creates uh, for a very likable very very likable person i think it's a it's a kind of character we've never seen before especially within detective genres and stuff with the philip marlowe's or whatever like this this is this new kind of this new detective that i think we've never seen before and i, I watched it today and i'm just I'm, i think jeff just does such a wonderful job he's just so he's such a he's so serious and he's, he's kind of scary but at the same time he knows when to smile and to flash that little grin you know he's he's just a really interesting cat yeah, yeah. Uh, endlessly watchable. I think that Avi sees the person first in every, in, at, at least that's what he endeavors to do. Even, um, even if he, 
even if he might already know the answer, he approaches the answer through the person. Um, he brings the person to the ad, uh, to the answer, as opposed to seeing the criminal first or you know, the suspect first or whatever. He always sees the person first, and he allows us as the, the audience members who are watching him to do the same thing, which is never, I think, a bad thing to always see the person first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's, it, it is a unique take on it, for sure. And Karen, sticking with you, how do you think The Calling stands apart from other mystery theories out there now? Well, it's other in, in other series, uh, I find that um, they can, and this can be, this can be very, very fun to do and interesting to do, but you always want to know who, who done it, who, who is, who's a, um, who's the culprit, who, you know, um, you want to go there immediately. And the calling does not allow you to do that. The calling brings you through the story so much so that, um, that you're less interested in the end point and more interested in what surrounds what is the, you're more interested in the journey to it you see these people in their actual everyday lives um you see what they're struggling with you see what's great about their marriages or partnerships or what's not you see the relationships with their children you see you, you see their they're watching the grocery store, mundane everyday happenings in their lives. And and that is how the story unfolds for you. And I found that I I found that endlessly interesting. I I just I loved finding out about these people and their lives. Well thank you both so much for talking with me today. Have a lovely day. Thank Thanks, you. Chris.